Hi everyone, welcome back to the my channel. My name is Neil, and in this technity video, we will learn about the stack navigation. These are the points that we are going to learn in this video. So first of all, we will learn what is the stack navigation. After that, we have to make the two components, import some packages for uh, stack navigation in the navigation, and we will apply the navigation with the code and test it. So this is all about the simple process. So in the last video, I just uh, told you that how you can install the package for the React navigation and how you can download the dependency. If you did not watch the previous video yet, then I just going to recommend you that before going to watch this video, you must have to watch the previous video so that you can know that how you can import the package and how you can download the dependency and all or you can set up the React navigation in the React. So now let's move with this video. So first question is that what is a stack navigation? So this is the simplest navigation and most widely used navigation in the uh, mobile application only. So it's like you are just clicking on a one link and the next screen is just opening. All right. So it's like an, on a web when you just click on any link, the next screen is opened. This is a very uh, similar way as a web also. So I hope just you understand that and if you are not getting that, then don't worry uh, with that example, you will definitely get that. All right. So now let's move with the code and we will make the two component for now. So first of all, I'm just going to zoom out the screen so that you can watch it completely. So I'm just going to start with the code with the app.js because at the beginner level, this is the perfect file from here. You can write the code. All right. So first of all, I'm just going to remove this code completely and I will just do the code from the very scratch. All right. So first of all, uh, let's save it and you will just find an error here because we just removed the old code. So first of all, just import react from react library. And after that, we have to import some react native components from react native. And here I am just going to uh, import some packages like view, text, and button. All right. And after that, I'm just going to make a const. The const name is app, and it can be like a arrow function. And in this arrow function, let's return some components or elements. So first component should be the view and we have to write some text inside it so let's write some text and in the text i can just write here app component right and after that let's export it export default and just write here app and when you just save it you will find that this is working fine with the tiny text so that i am just going to enlarge the text with some style so just write here font size can be like 50 all right so this is looks nice let's just format the code a little bit so that uh, we can see the code completely so i am just going to hide the sidebar so that we have the wide screen to do the code all right so after doing this let's make a one more component with another name like uh, profile all right so in this profile i'm just going to write a profile component that's it so now you can see that we have a two component here all right so now i'm just going to um, let's go on a third part import the package for import the package i have to import two things one is i have to import uh, something from the react navigation package so just write here react navigation all right and this is the create app container so just write here create uh, um, app container all right and after that let's import one more thing from the uh, react native stack uh, react navigation stack right so react navigation and stack and from here we have to import actually uh, create stack navigator so let's write here create stack navigation right so just doing after that uh, let's make a const uh, with the name of app navigator and here let's uh, use here your create stack navigation right 
and uh, basically this is a function that accepts some parameter in the object so I'm just going to write here an object here here just like write here uh, home and on the home screen home means at the initial level the app component will be open right like this so I am just going to use here create uh, app create app container and I am just going to pass here app navigator so now let's look out the look at the output whenever you just do it now you can see that we got some heading here that means navigation is applied here all right so let's uh, this is the home page basically because we just write here home so i'm just going to make a one more um key which is the profile so this is for the profile navigation and just write here profile because our second component name is profile all right so this is the name of whenever we just want to access uh, this page we will take the reference of this profile all right so now you can see that this is the app on it but how we can open the profile screen now all right so for that let's make a button here on the button click we will just open the uh, profile component so just write here title the title I can just write here like go to profile right and for that we must have to use the on press event so just write here on press and on the on press we must have to take a arrow function and here we can just write here props dot navigation dot uh, navigate and here we can just put the name of the screen where we just want to go so we will just use the profile like this right so now you will find a button but how we are not able to access the props here so let's just write here props and now this is the perfect whenever I'm just going to click it now you can see that we are on the profile component so there is a two way because this is the second page so we can just go back here with the component but if we just want to add the button also here that this thing also we can do just copy this button from here to here and just right here go to the app and here just right here home right and we must have to pass the props in the functional component so let's go on that here on the profile component and let's go on the application component right so I hope you just get the everything if you still just miss the something then you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel in the next video we will see that how we can just pass the some parameter from one component to the another component right thanks for watching this video don't forget to subscribe my channel